He is a disaster to the sport and deserves to be kicked out for good. Erling Holland is a cheat, and we are going to put together a compelling argument to prove this. From his playing style to his potential and flaws, Holland's football career at the moment deserves a critical look. A petition has been set up on Change.org for Holland to be banned from playing football in the UK. To find out why, let us take a trip down memory lane. Something happened in the year 2000. It wasn't the grand opening of the Millennium Dome or the onset of the golden age of retro mobile phones. A tiny Norwegian enigma took his first breath on Earth, and the rest, they say, is history. Erling Holland was born on July 21, 2000, to a family of athletes. His father was a defender and played for Nottingham Forest, Leeds United, and Manchester City, while his mother was a woman's heptathlon athlete. Even his cousins grew up playing soccer, too. At the age of five, young Holland was already registered at the academy of his hometown club, Brine. In no time, it became clear that Erling had soccer in his DNA. He remained at the club until February 2017, when Mould announced that they had signed him. Holland finished his first full season with Mould as their highest goal scorer with 16 goals in 30 games before joining Salzburg on the eve of 2019. But what's the point of this boring history class? Let's get straight into the meat of the gist. It is no longer funny. Holland has just scored his 20th goal for Manchester City barely two months into the new season. Everyone knew he was going to score goals, but not in this manner. 20 goals in 13 appearances, including three consecutive league hat-tricks at home, was enough to make fans and social media uncomfortable. As a result, the unusual petition to ban him from football continues to receive signatures, not because he has been involved in a scandal or a grave offense, but because he is just too good. According to one fan, he shows up out of the blue and consistently ruins the weekends of the hard-working people of this great nation. This issue must be dealt with in order to protect the mental health of millions in our society. Hard to imagine how traumatized rival fans are. As laughable as the whole situation sounds, it necessitates an inside look into Holland's qualities as a player, which brings us to the next point, his playing style. Holland would earn a reputation for being a cheat, mainly because of his playing style. He has been able to utterly dominate the opposition defenders, even before having one-on-one -on -one contact with them. Before coming to Etihad, he displayed exceptional talent at Salzburg and Borussia Dortmund, scoring 28 goals in 22 appearances and 86 goals in 89 appearances respectively. The prolific center forward built this game around his physical and technical skills. A huge 6 foot 5 frame reminiscent of Ibrahimovic to hold up play and bring his teammates into the game and clever positioning and movement to confuse defenders. His pace, dribbling ability, and flawless finishing with both feet and his head along with his physicality has made him untouchable. Still, his game would bring a lot more. Mentally, Holland adjusted to the Premier League like it was just another walk down the park, which left supporters stunned. Such a transition could not have been possible without a strong mental game. The Norwegian celebrates his goals by sitting in the lotus yoga position, where he sits on the ground in a meditative pose, with his wrist resting on his knees and touching one finger to his thumb. After scoring his first Premier League goal on his debut against West Ham, the 22-year-old took to the lotus pose, which is said to help him find inner peace and calm. Meditation aside, Holland perfected a playing style that involved coming deep to get the ball and sometimes starting a build-up play before sprinting towards the goal. Such a habit made it extremely difficult for defenders to keep him in their pockets. In a penalty area, his sharp movements and spatial awareness not only made it easier for teammates to pick him out, but also a lot harder for defenders to read. Invaluable with his back to the goal, enough strength under pressure to secure possession, and overall creativity and space on the counter all combined to make Holland the player that he is today. Fast, powerful, and clinical. Manchester City's 6-0 win over Nottingham Forest amplified Holland's clinical quality as a goal-scoring machine. With only 11 touches in the first half, he still managed to score that hat-trick. The first goal was a close-range effort after beating his man at the near post to convert a Phil Foden cross. The second was a simple touch into an empty net. But the third was simply imposing and would show everyone a sign of things to come for Holland's Manchester City. A ball was crossed into the Nottingham Forest box and headed back to the Norwegian, who bullied his defender with his intimidating physical presence and aerial prowess by nodding the ball into the net. 
but despite his insane talent, Holland has had his critics. Holland was somewhat awkward and clumsy, his legs and arms often flailed about, and his body was always seeming to tilt forward, but that did not stop him from scoring goals freely. He became the first teenager to score five consecutive UFR Champions League matches in the 2019-20 season with Salzburg, and he became the Champions League top scorer in the following season. Bought from Salzburg to Borussia Dortmund for only 20 million, Holland continued his goal-scoring exploits and won the Golden Boy Award before being named the 2021 Bundesliga Player of the Season. He followed it up by winning the DFB Pokal that year with Dortmund. He scored a brace in Dortmund's 4-1 win over Leipzig in the final. Off the pitch, there were initial concerns about the striker's penchant for nightlife and party. He was even kicked out of a club in Norway for being drunk and displaying aggressive behavior toward people. But all that is ancient history now. The striker established himself as one of the most prolific strikers in Europe at Dortmund before being bought by Manchester City for 51 million in July this year. Fast forward to today, and the Norwegian is now only nine goals away from equaling the golden boot tally in the EPL for last season, which wouldn't have been possible without commitment to the game and professionalism. At Salzburg, the argument was that he was scoring in a lower-ranked league. At Dortmund, critics said the Bundesliga was not as competitive as the Premier League. Now wearing the sky blue shirt, there is dead silence from those who amplified his flaws. Holland has even taken his passing a notch higher, but what does the future hold for this man? Future. Already close to 200 goals for club and country at the age of 22, he has shown that the future is bleak. Not for him, but for the opposition team who are desperate to stop this brutal force of nature. Two goals on his league debut, three consecutive hat tricks including a demolition against the Red Devils in the Manchester Derby, and a Premier League Player of the Month award for August spells doom for any team facing the striker. He already set the record for the quickest individual Premier League history to score two hat tricks after he beat the previous record by a staggering 14 matches. Bournemouth is the only team so far to have prevented him from making goal contributions this season. As far as early signs go, it doesn't get any scarier. Playing alongside the Belgian wizard De Bruyne and in an intricate Pep Guardiola setup, it would not be long before he annihilates several long-standing records in the domestic league and Europe as long as he remains injury-free. Erling Haaland is a phenomenon. Although he has incredible talent to score goals, he brings much more to the game. He has already transformed Manchester City Attack, a club that played without a true number 9 for so long. There is not much to worry about the 22-year-old who is on his way to cementing his reputation as one of the finest players the game has ever seen. Holland has turned the Premier League into his own yard and rival fans have had no option but to beg him to stop. Still early days in the season, the Norwegian will be looking to back up his ridiculous start to the season with consistent and clutch performances over time to help Manchester City get hold of the Champions League, a trophy that has eluded Pep for quite some time. Judging from past and current performances, Holland's days as a cheat code in football are far from over.